Hello there. Today, I am off to Utah to meet up with Matt from Matt's Off-Road Recovery to take part in his off-road games where we are going to be racing some vehicles up some rocks, rock crawling, all sorts of stuff. I actually don't know what I'm getting into. So, we need to hit the road. There's a couple spots. This is gonna be a handful. <laughs> all right. But you're in capable hands. I actually don't know exactly what I'm getting into. I believe the premise is something like there's six experienced off-roaders and there's six unexperienced off-roaders and they get paired with each other to race up this really dangerous cliff. And I am in the unexperienced off-roader category, which I think is fair, but I do think I'm a sleeper in that category because uh, look at this hill. And so I'm teamed up with somebody that they will guide me of how to race up this mountain. I know there's gonna be events there too. I'm very excited to meet Matt. I've actually never met Matt, only kind of talked to him online before. So where we're going is Hurricane Utah, which is about, oh, seven hours away from here. There's an orientation meeting in five hours. So I think I'm missing that, but we're gonna pick them up in the morning, get right into racing, have a damn good time. And since this is gonna be a lot of driving, I'm actually picking up my friend, Chris, at Keeler right now, and he's going to be recording for me the rest of the time, so that way I can focus on, you know, not falling off the cliff tomorrow. Woo! <laughs> How we doing? We've made it to Hurricane. We now have to meet up with Bent Off-Road. Those are the guys that are going to coach me to not die tomorrow. It's going to be a late night tonight, early morning tomorrow. See how it goes. I'm confident we're going to win this thing. That's how I'm feeling. My partners in the race were bent off-road from Utah. I'd be driving their truck and they'd be instructing me through the whole course. And the first night, I met up with them late to go over the plans for the next day. Windy today. Yeah, sorry about that, man. I really bad. Bad. Hey, Brett. So we'll probably uh, walk over and jump in the truck, go yeah. over and show you where yeah, let me everything's out. out. Sounds good. When I met up with the guys from Bent Off-Road, I got a little bit of anxiety because I realized that while well, all the other competitors would be using a kitted out Jeep or similar, I'd be doing the race in essentially a stock F-350 record truck with some lockers added in. Meaning I'd be in a lot heavier and a bigger vehicle than everyone else. And some of those tight turns could be pretty hard. What What's your comfort level of driving? Very, very comfortable. The road to get to town is an eight mile dirt road that's on cliffs. And so it's not rock crawling by any means but it's like, they can be pretty sketchy when a blizzard happens or something like that. Um, the only thing about trails like this that people are unfamiliar unfamiliar with was how much the vehicle will lean. Yep. So this trail is a very well used trail. Mm -hmm. When you jump on it, the rocks actually have darker marks. So when I say just follow the tire tracks, right? I mean, that that's all it is. Like picture a two track dirt road and you're just staying in the rut. Okay. While you're rolling, you still have a little bit of, of steering. So there'll be times where I say, you need to turn all the way driver and you go, oh, 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 can't do it. And yeah. I'll say, rock it back and forth. How many people are they anticipating at that? 10,000. Holy shit. Roughly. Um, yeah. <laughs> Everything in this truck is set on a master switch. Okay. Right here. Yep. And I'm going to just flip that on for you in the morning. Air compressor, rear locker, front locker. Got it. Lockers are currently engaged. Okay. We have run the trail now twice with yeah. the Land Cruisers. Okay. It, it's not how technical or how well you do it. Okay. They're looking for crowd pleasing. Nice. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, that's gonna be awesome. All right, what loot did you get? We got a helmet. I got a big head, so I told them I wanted an XL and they got me an XL. We're hoping that I don't need this at all tomorrow. If I need this, we got a problem. But after the speech that this gave me, I don't know how I feel. It sounded um, terrifying is the way to describe it. And so we're gonna get up early in the morning get our helmets on and hopefully not flip the truck. All right, today's the day. The off-road games are happening. We're about to head over about 15 minutes away. I think we start to drive in a couple hours and they said there's gonna be 10,000 people at least watching. Um, but we're in this little Airbnb here. I was checking it out last night and in the fridge, I found this. 
<laughs> no, dude. No, no way. Ghost Town Living. No way. What are the odds? <laughs> My book. It's all about a life of adventure and finding purpose and all the time. I'm going to bring this with me in the car. So uh, check this out. Here you go. So. We have tickets, right? <laughs> I don't have tickets. Yo. Yo. <laughs> I don't feel like that. No way, dude. We got in late last night. <laughs> No tickets for Brent. <laughs> we don't have tickets, but do you know what we do have? What's that? Ghost Town Ghost Living! <laughs> the course itself was Sand Hollow State Park. It's just a beautiful park with a lake and many miles of OHV trails. I've never really spent much time in Utah I was really blown away by the red rocks and just the striking beauty of it. Hey, he gives a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Thumbs up. I'm four wheel drive, yeah. Thank you. It's a bit cold. Woo. I'm used to it though. Cerro Goro. So going into the run, I was hoping to pick up some new skills or ideas of how to get up the main road to Cerro Gordo when it washes out. I'm pretty comfortable on the road generally after four years, but being able to learn from the experts seemed like a great way to add another tool into my toolbox. And beyond that, I was mostly excited just to see people in person, fans, other YouTubers, pretty much anyone with similar interests. I think that YouTube is amazing at bringing people together online but when you can bring that same community offline to an in-person event where everybody can meet up face to face, it's really special. It's something that I was looking forward to and something that I've been trying to do at Cerro Gordo with our foot race, metal detecting events, and a lot more. First on the list is James with Dona Media and Matt with Matt's Off Road. We're gonna be in the more of air dominating that mountain right there. That is our mountain! And it is gonna be bent off road. Right on up. And Brent from Ghost Town Living. Look at that. Alright! Woo! Get ready for some noise. Everybody, loud cheers. Let's do this! Let's get going! Woo! -hoo! here at Matt's Off-Road Off-Road Games and it's literally time to go. So we are going to run over your backpack and uh, go to the finish line, start line. Brent, how are you feeling? I feel good. I feel like I have uh, the dream team over here. I feel like we're the ones that are going to win. Brent, tell me about this truck we're driving. You told me. This is a full-size F-350 Super Duty that we need to get back into and go a little forward in. This is about as hard as it gets, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is it. This, that was right here is the hardest part yeah, of the trail. Is... Oh, How's this going? Good. Good, good. good. See you. <laughs> I heard, you know, like in NASCAR, they put the uh, potential winners in the very back. So I understand that you're doing the same thing we here. Exact same I understand. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> the, in the, back. the biggest, heaviest vehicle. Yeah. There's, there's a couple spots. This is going to be a handful. <laughs> yeah, all right. But you're in capable hands. So I, I, we yep, were going for crowd pleasing. Yeah. I'm cool. hoping that a completely stock Ford F-350 will be a crowd pleasing obstacle. Yeah. The part I'm worried about is shaky legs. So when it comes to driving off-road, the first thing is just to relax and to trust that the vehicle isn't gonna flip over. I think it goes against a lot of human nature, you know, every shift that puts you off camber, instinctually you want to correct it, but trusting that this vehicle uh, is going to be okay, that a lot of engineering went into making sure that it didn't flip over was the first hurdle. All right, okay, All you're right. back on the rear bumper and that's totally fine. Okay. Keep it right just like that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Did 
Yeah, we got there. As I started up the course, there were some really big rocks to go over. The camera has a way of flattening things out and these rocks were a lot steeper than maybe I saw in video going into the thing. But no matter what, staying calm was the most important thing. Right, how was that? Easy, we're gonna, we got this in the bag. We got this in the bag. <laughs> tell tell, tell uh, Fred he's gotta relax a little. Yeah, he's doing good. <laughs> he's doing good though, so it's exciting to watch. Heck yeah. Kind of like this? Yep, yep. And then start turning straight. Yep. Should we wait till he gets off or going? We can creep up a little right. a little closer. Go ahead and bring it back this way as, yep. as, as soon as it'll let you. Yeah. More more passenger. Okay. Right there. Yep. Okay, straighten it out just a little bit. Yep. Keep keep them spinning. Yep. There you go. Okay, driver. Yep. Driver, driver. Keep keep your wheels exactly how they are. Okay. Okay, you're gonna go a little passenger. Yep. Keep, keep it right where it's at. Okay. Yep, you're good, you're good. Nice and slow and steady. Yep. Right down here, keep yep. them, go a little passenger. Yep. Right there. Who do you think is gonna win? They're all gonna win. Every team's gonna have their moment. And every team's gonna have the best moment of the day. Man, why are you doing this? What's going on? Uh, we're changing the tire. <laughs> where? The, uh, <laughs> yeah, that guy! Yeah! Go straight towards him. All the way over, and then we're gonna crank it hard. Keep it throttled. Keep going, keep going, keep it going, keep it going. Hard driver. Yep. This side's gonna drop a little bit before that side. That's okay. That's gonna drop about a foot later. Yep. We're gonna stay on this line right here all the way down. And as we were going through the course, I really found myself enjoying it. The rocks seemed less intimidating as the course went on. And hearing the people yell out the encouragement, interacting with them, seeing the other competitors do their thing in their vehicles, it was really fun. I think that Matt and his team just did an amazing job of keeping the race interesting by throwing in other things to do, like change tires, tug of wars, and a lot more. Great instructor, great truck. Kyle's having fun. I'm having fun. About as good as it can go. And I got a Mountain Dew. <laughs> if I could do this every day of my life, I'd be, I'd die a happy man. I think that we just did awesome. I heard a lot more cheering than I did for other competitors. That could have been just because that was the truck I was in. But people were really enjoying seeing this F-350 climb over rocks. I remember a lot of people came up to the window and said, you know, I had an F-350. I never thought I could do something like this. And so to hear that response was really fun. <laughs> Nice. As soon as we go down that, we're gonna crank it uphill. But uh, we're, we're gonna damage the body on this one. Sweet. And that's okay. The back of the cab bedside is gonna get it hard. Yep. You're gonna come down with this one at about eight inches. Yep. Right there. Yep. Okay, keep it right there. Yep. And then turn dry, turn passenger as you can. Just yep. keep going. Okay, the, the back's gonna slide down. Yep. Should I just keep going? Yeah, just keep, uh, keep it turned this way. Yep. Okay, keep going forward. Stop. Stop. Okay, winch in. Okay, go ahead and let it out a little. Yep. Keep it going. Yep. Nice and easy, real slow. The most difficult part of the run was right at the end. The vehicle had been heating up for the whole run, and it got to the point where it lost its power steering. So what was already a very difficult task became even harder because I had to convince this huge truck with aired down tires and a wrecker crane on it to try to turn on these steep rocks. Go ahead and shut it down and let it cool off. Hey, great job. Thanks, man. That. that was fun. But in the end, I made it to the finish line with just a huge smile on my face. You know, I love 
testing my comfort zone, whether that's in the mines, on hikes, or now on the trail. And I felt like we did a great job as a team navigating the course and taking this larger truck. One, two, three. Woo! Woo! Yeah! I've been living up at Cerro Gordo for over four years now, and I am somewhat embarrassed to say that I only recently figured out that I was still paying for my gym membership back in Austin, Texas. And I realized this thanks to today's sponsor, Rocket Money. And Rocket Money is a personal finance app that helps you cancel those subscriptions, lower your bills, and manage your money better. You know, right now I'm using Rocket Money to comb through all my bills and figure out what subscriptions might have been useful, you know, four years ago when I was living in a city that are completely useless up here at Cerro Gordo. I've also used it to set some budgets. You know, I'll get an alert anytime I go over that. And Rocket Money saves on average $740 per year per customer. They've saved over $500 million in canceled subscriptions. And if you wanna check it out, if you go to rocketmoney.com slash GTL, it's free to get started. There's all sorts of tools. There's also a premium version if you wanna check that out. But again, just go to rocketmoney.com slash GTL, check it out and save some money. Nice, any words of wisdom? That's fun. That was really fun. He's not done yet though. We still got the uh, the shoot. How are you feeling? You wanna do it? Heck yeah, well. Heck yeah, yeah man. Yeah, yeah. Done this far, I guess. Man, if it wasn't for the steering. Yeah. Well, been... and you could tell it was getting hot. It was getting harder yeah. and harder. Yeah. When the fluid got hot, it got much yeah. more difficult. Yeah. Hopefully it'll cool down for just a few minutes and be able to make that zig corner easier. And before the daylight op, there was one final obstacle to go up. It was called the shoot. And the shoot essentially looks like a 90 degree angle going straight up a rock. And I remember that Matt and his team said, listen, you don't have to do this. If anybody's uncomfortable, you don't need to go up it. Um, but I was gonna go that far and not go up the chute. So you're gonna have to drive up on this rock a little bit to the left. Yeah. And then I'll tell you when to cut it. Well, she's turning, so that's good. Yep. Keep it all the way. Yep. Okay, just keep it straight. Yep. Okay. Yep. Just give it some throttle and you let it pull up. Keep, give it a little more throttle. Keep it going, keep it in. Yep. Okay, keep going. Come this way a little. Yep. Okay, grab it. Yep. Awesome. <laughs> that was crazy. How'd that look? So, oh. <laughs> That's my book. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> <laughs> Why you gotta go to Walmart, bro? It's so much Santa, like a beach worth of sand in my eyes. It's so dusty out here. I thought Cerro Gordo was dusty. Man, I gotta go to Walmart. <laughs> Sandy Hollow, Sandy. All right, all right, all right. The, the whole time we were sitting there watching you go up that that one you had to like pivot. Oh yeah, that was the. Uh, but we were like, is he yeah. really going up that? And we we're like, yeah. dude, everybody! And we were like, walk, yeah. ran over. We yeah. were so excited about it. <laughs> this yeah. is the guy that drove the truck. I we told you about the hit. Go on. We liked yours the best because it was the most entertaining. We do the rest of yeah. yeah. Oh cool. That's why we brought that one. Yeah. We have a knack for figuring out how to get things done. Yeah. You know, we're, we're very good problem solvers, but we ended up having a, a little page dedicated to us on Facebook. People would put up and be like, hey, if you guys need a, if you need a hand, call these guys. And so we decided to make it a business. Our towing business is actually off-road recovery and towing. Yep. Okay. And that was our YouTube channel to start with. But and then uh, we came up with the bore. The logo is awesome. That's really I mean, cool, yeah. yeah. Once we decided on the logo and the name, like everything fell together. Yeah. We use our Land Cruisers for most of the mountain recovery stuff that are tight and yeah. hard to get to. Yeah. And my white one's straight down there and black, yeah, the black one somewhere. Cool. Okay, so this is the blue diesel. We put some new doors on it, and by new, I mean used off of a different Rex truck. They were slightly less bad shape than the ones that I had on it before. We plan on painting it 
but this truck has just been upgraded as needed for the longest time it was just a bone stock truck it had a level kit on it and that was it and when we decided to start using it for specifically the off-road recovery stuff we picked up this boom bolted it in there and then we just bolted some 40 inch tires to it and started using it now it has an 06 front axle in it and the best thing is a tighter turning radius we had the sling hooked up to a the factory bumper and we were actually towing a forerunner that had ripped a wheel off through a really nasty road and it ripped my bumper in half this is technically for a 2010 2011 super duty but with very little modification we put it on here but we have a smitty built 12 in the rear that's just welded onto the boom and this one is for pulling vehicles straight in we love this thing the front bumper is also not for this year caleb did some like heavy modification to make this one fit this truck so he cut the whole middle out built mounts in the back side of it so we could tuck the winch as far back in as we could to get as much approach angle and clearance as we could and it turned out fantastic <laughs> the the next upgrade on this i actually have them uh, i just haven't put them on yet and i'm really sad about it because if we'd have had it on yesterday this wouldn't have happened you see how this winch line is really torn up this fell down and got caught. So we're gonna have to cut this off and retie it. So what we're doing here is on the front and the rear, we're going to use a Yankum ropes fairly. It's going to eliminate this problem. It comes out and it hooks in here. So the rope is completely- Completely hidden, completely protected. Protected from rock. We yep. smashed it into a rock face and drug it up. Yep. I, I would not be able to safely use the winch right now. No. So we're gonna cut this and we're gonna retie a loop in it and we're going to have this on probably yeah. pretty soon maybe even just tomorrow alan at yankum ropes hooked us up with these and they are incredible yeah it is the most american recovery company that is out there period end of story and they're the best quality that's cool <laughs> all right what's the move what's all the right. move vegas here we come that was the off-road games I think I did good. I think I did about as good as I could do. Um, I'm excited to go do a podcast. My man is listening to the podcast. He's about to be on. Nothing to say? Nothing to say. Yeah, read the lead. All right. My boys, fit it up. Podcast time, maybe to see Sean Kelly. Let's go. Brent? Yeah, hey. All right. How are you? All right, podcast done. Uh, that was a uh, long day so far, and so now, Getting in the truck, going back to Cerro Gordo. Day's out done. It's snowing. Ghost Town live in the book. Dude, the door. Dude, stop. <laughs> the door gonna, stop. Ghost Town living. Put it up on the screen right now. No. Ghost Town living. No, Ghost Town dude. living. Ghost Town living. Dude. Ghost Town living. All of this <laughs> is possible because of Ghost Town living and you guys supporting it. So please give us a little help. Help me fix my truck. <laughs> that was uh, interesting. <laughs> I was the ninth guest of the day, and the host asked me what I wanted to talk about. So now we're going gambling? So now we're gonna go put a little money on red and turn this day around. We're gonna turn this day around before we go back to Cerro Gordo. We're gonna turn it around a little bit. I've never been gambling before. Chris is gonna throw his first money down on red. Yeah, yeah. Start a lifelong addiction. Forty, forty to one hundred bucks. <laughs> we're $100 up, but we're playing with house money. We're already got our 20 back to each of us. So we're gonna go roll it again, roll it again. See what we can make of the 200. Alright, how do we do? We're even. 
which actually in Vegas isn't too bad. We were up 125 at one point, and then arrived two times in a row, one, two times in a row, took some tape shifts off the table, lost three times in a row. So if that's not Vegas in a nutshell, I don't know who is. And so the fact that we're leaving with the same amount of money in our pocket, pretty good. Wait, so how much is parking? 23 bucks. So we're actually down 23. I thought we were up. We should have at least made enough money to pay for parking. Damn, dude. Car's looking pretty clean these days. It's all your bullshit like your bag. <laughs> hey, but it's all on top of your yeah, stuff. I know. My stuff keeps it in equilibrium where I want it. <laughs> Yo. Your stuff makes it messy. What do you have on? Oh, well, I listen to it, movie scores. What? Starting That's the best, way to, that's the best way to get in the zone, dude. Alright, this is probably my favorite place in Death Valley. This is Amor Goes to the Opera House. And basically, Marta Beckett moved out here and did ballet right inside these walls pretty much every day for something like 30 years, just to nobody. She just wanted to dance. And so I think the lore here is amazing. And it's somewhere that if you haven't checked out, you definitely need to check out because it's just amazing. It's inside, it's painted all by her. It's crazy. And so this is gonna be the final resting home for this book too. I'm gonna write a little note in this. We're gonna hide it somewhere here at Amargosa. And uh, if you do come looking for this thing, make sure you go into their gift shop, buy a book or something about Marta. It's just such a cool story. But for now, I'm gonna write a little note in here and the lucky winner can uh, take a look at what it is. All right, if you make it out here, it is in this bush. Put some twigs over it. And if nobody retrieves it within a month or so, I have to go back through here to go to the airport. I'm gonna take it myself, but got a little bit of time. Come grab it, it's got a special note in it. Come check out Ghost Town Living. If you wanna search for adventure, find purpose, check out the book, <laughs> Ghost Town Living. <laughs> I'm going home. <laughs> Probably my favorite part of the week was interacting with the fans that made their way out there. It just brings a context to the people that follow online, you know, to hear their stories, how they found out about Cerro Gordo, what they're most interested is really enjoyable. And I think my big takeaway from all of it was just this desire to have more in-person events at Cerro Gordo. We have our second annual foot race coming up soon, and I'm already dreaming of other events that we can do, whether that's the movie festival or different things that we need to do so these similar-minded people can come together and meet because I really think that that's all it's about. And Matt and his crew pulled off this massive event and it just gave me a lot of inspiration going forward. And I have to say that I also now have the itch to build out a truck up here for rock crawling. You know, I'm already seeing some awesome lines on the trails around here. And I would love to incorporate more of that in the future. For the record, this is what his truck looked like before my stuff was in it. 